Closed captioning for great taste is presented by Dairy Farmers of Manitoba, committed to producing milk according to the highest standards of quality. Manitoba Liquor Mart presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by GreatTastesMB.ca. Local farms, local foods. Great Taste is sponsored by Manitoba Agriculture. And welcome to Great Taste of Manitoba. My name is Des Daniels and we are here tonight with Dairy Farmers of Manitoba, Sarah K. Hill. Um, dairy Best Favorites. We do one of these, I think, every year pretty much because there are so many things that you can uh, make with, with dairy products. We're going to get into that in just a minute. Of course, we have Erin Allblast here from Manitoba Liquor Mart. Uh, let's walk through our recipes tonight. What are we making? So tonight we're going to be making something called Not Your Mama's Meatloaf. Okay. And then we're going to be moving on to a creamy carrot casserole. This is the kind of dish that you'd bring to like a potluck or a family gathering. And then we're going to end off the night with something that could actually be made on a, like a weeknight meal. And it's pork medallions with a creamy mango curry sauce. Sounds fancy, uh, but okay, it'll make it, it, hopefully it'll be nice and easy for uh, a weeknight meal. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, you never let us down. What about you, Aaron? What are you thinking? You know what? I'm thinking, I don't think I've ever been asked to pair a beverage with carrot casserole. <laughs> So we're There's a have, first time for everything tonight. There always is, especially on this show. Your recipes are so creative. We're going to get a little creative with the, the drink pairings, and mainly we're going to have fun. Fantastic. We'll see you in a few. Uh, here we go. Not your mama's meatloaf. I guess depending on who your mama is, that may or may not be a good thing. I don't know. I'll just leave it at that. But what makes this different? What makes this one unique is all the flavor that we're going to put into it. So okay. it's, it's absolutely no disrespect to your mama's meatloaf. Certainly it's just not. that it's very different and unique. So we'll get to the, those different elements very shortly. Cool. We're going to start off by adding an egg to some milk. And this is, of course, Countryside Farms Vita Eggs. That's right. Just the one? Just the one Just egg. the one. The egg helps to, to keep everything together and helps the meatloaf to actually stick together. Okay. We're going to pour the milk on top of some cubed bread. So you had so. a conversation with somebody earlier who kind of looked at the recipe and they were like, hmm, milk and meatloaf, how does that work? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, Sarah's going to show us shortly. So that makes perfect sense because it's going to add some texture, That's right? That's right. So it's going to make it nice and tender and moist so the milk and the egg it's all going to help it bind together and then that tenderness comes from the bread so sometimes you use bread crumbs or oatmeal or something yeah. that's what the bread cubes are going to do you well, can I've use... never made them with bread cubes uh, the other two yeah. yes but awesome and the cubes you can use like rye bread whole wheat bread whatever bread you've got in your house right Perfect. to make it nice and easy okay so we're going to let that absorb all the liquid and we're going to move on to our meat mixture mm -hmm. so here we've used a ground beef and this is where we have all the flavor add-ins i was going to say we haven't even gotten it put it anywhere near an oven and it already smells so amazing. very amazing yeah so what we have already added to the bowl is some cilantro some paprika some garlic, garlic. red wine vinegar because okay. it a really nice sort of extra tastiness. And that's kind of an unusual thing for mm -hmm. a meat, again, for meatloaf. Just sort of emphasizes the flavor even more. Uh, we've got some cumin, coriander, allspice, as well as a little bit of salt as all well. Allspice. Yes, okay. so you can see there is a ton of flavor Lots being of added yep. into this dish. And so once your bread cubes have absorbed all of that milk in the egg, we're going to add them into our mixture mm -hmm. here and then we're gonna mix it up. Now I'm wearing a glove just because we're gonna be doing a few different things here and it just keeps it sure. nice and clean and food safe so we're not touching anything, but you can see how it really incorporates well into your meat. And the bread cubes actually will break down because of that moisture that we've added to them. Okay, because so the you, last thing you want is like a big hunk of dry, which... Right, it's not like a crouton that you accidentally land on in your in your meatloaf, yeah, right? right. But I'm so, even thinking about the meatloaf in general, right? And this is, that again, that lovely moist, promise we've been uh, made here so <laughs> that's right looking so good we are going to now make individual meatloaves and so that's the other thing that's unique about this dish okay. is instead of making one big loaf we're going to make nice small individual portions how much uh, how many does this make this makes about six okay yeah so it makes six we're going to come over here sure. and let's put this here so the nice thing about the individual portions is that they actually cook a lot faster than one larger loaf, so right? Think like a, so meatloaf, yeah, generally about 25, 30 minutes? It's, yeah, it's about 30 minutes. Yeah, 25 to 30, you're right. Okay. And uh, so here, let's separate these loaves a little bit. So I'm making them quite large, actually. Yeah. And so basically, 
You just want to form it into a mini meatloaf, right? And so obviously you don't need a pan or pans. No, if you it's have gone. one of those little mini meatloaf pans, that's great. Sure. But you know, I like to make it accessible and you don't have to go out and buy one of those meatloaf pans. Another thing about making it accessible I wanted to mention is that we have um, cilantro in here, fresh cilantro. Right. It's not always something you have in your fridge. Mm -hmm. So I've actually started using some um, freeze dried cilantro. How's that work? It works really well. You can keep it in your cupboard and okay. that way whenever you need it, you have it on hand. How and does so that compare with like, because uh, fresh is, I like using fresh mm -hmm. if possible. Of but course. they also have the squeeze um, the herbs, like the ones that you keep in a tube in your fridge, how does that compare the dry, the freeze dried? Uh, you know, the freeze dried, I think you could sort of use equal volumes. So if this one calls for a quarter cup of cilantro, you could use a quarter cup of the freeze dried That's what cilantro. You use. Okay. Um, with the stuff that comes in the tube, you might need a little bit less because it's more concentrated. More intense. That's all. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. So we've got our meatloaves here. You can see I've made some larger ones. This made four large ones. We have enough for a fifth one here. Um, you could also make them a little bit smaller. I've sure. actually got some in the oven right now if I'm you wanted it. to pull those out. Sure. A really great way to make sure that you're not overcooking your meatloaf is to use a thermometer. And I can see I got a little bit messy there. So use a meat thermometer. Uh, you want it to come up to about 150 degrees and then you're gonna pull it out of the oven. You're gonna let it rest and then it's gonna come up another 60 degrees. Okay. Okay, so that's what we would do here. Now I've checked these earlier so I know that they are they're cooked. They're good to go. And they're good to go. And boy do they smell unbelievable. That's, there's that sweet, bright, oh they're just, they smell wonderful. And the nice thing is if, if you don't need six, you can easily freeze a couple of them and pull them out for a quick lunch. Right, I yeah. love that idea. So Convenient. Always thinking about kids' lunches, my favorite uh, ta household task. That's right. um, okay, and the other thing I love about this is that there's really nothing exotic in here. It's like, as you say, accessible. Yes. So uh, we're talking uh, weeknight meals and, well, just any time. It's always nice to be able to uh, make a recipe that, that doesn't require a lot of, uh, you know, extraordinarily different ingredients. So there you have it. Uh, not your mama's meatloaf. Smells Awesome. Uh, when we come back, we're going to continue with Dairy Best Favorites uh, Creamy Carrot Casserole right here on Great Tastes of Manitoba. Stay with us. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by Manitoba Agriculture. 